Hi, so on this course, we are going to implement some extra security layers for WHMCS. As you can see, we have further security steps from the WHMCS webpage. So we are going to go through the five points here. Um, probably just four points. We won't be restricting the IP because uh, you may change your IP addresses depending on where you are accessing your admin area. So let's go right ahead. First, we want to change the admin folder. As you can see by default, the admin folder is slash admin here as you can see. Now we want to change that to some random um, string so people cannot guess your admin folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create some random string. I'm going to Google random string here and generate the string uppercase lowercase and get strings so probably I'll, I'll get this one just pick one and I'm going to go ahead and go to my C panel go to my file manager and launch the file manager here you see the admin folder we are simply going to rename this and add that random string at the end of the admin folder name so I'm going to choose rename admin I'm going to add underscore this random string and I'm going to rename file as you can see now it has been renamed with a new one so if somebody tries to guess your admin page and they try to go to here it's going to be not there so you can just add the new one and simply bookmark this page i'm going to go ahead and book uh, let me wait until the page is finished loading so as you can see it's finished loading now so you just bookmark this whole url i'm going to bookmark this page and wh um, CS login so now whenever I want to go to this admin area I just go to my bookmark and go right here so that is taken care of let's go to step number two actually before we go to step number two we actually need to add this custom admin path in our configuration.php file so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to my C panel and file manager here. Go find my configuration.php file. I'm going to go my code editor, edit and add that path. So what's the name of this admin path? We have to go back to file manager, go up and here we go. I'm just copy this whole admin name, the folder name, go back to here and put it there. Remember, no slash in front or at the back. So I'm going to save this, save changes and close this up and try it out I'm going to open the admin and try to log in remember please and log in okay everything looks good so we are actually good to go now we can go to the next part which is step number two password protect the admin directory so this is for another security layer okay so let's go ahead and do that again from the C panel for your main website we have the file manager here 
But to password protect, we actually do it from outside the file manager. So I'm going to close this. Go back to my cPanel. Search password protect directories. Here we have this part and I'm going to head go. This particular folder is the one we want to protect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, as you can see, set permissions for this folder. I'm going to go ahead and password protect this directory. Name the protected directory. Admin only. Or you can put whatever you want. And simply put your admin user. There. So for this example, I'm just going to use my own password and you can use the password generator make sure you save it and save it on a safe place so when it's prompted you know what to enter and you can also use a different username right for whatever username you want to use for an extra security layer so I'm gonna add modify authorized user Okay, you can see um, I just added the user, but actually we have to click the save button first. So I'm going to redo this part, admin only, and save it. Now go back, now it's saved, and we have the user. Now if I reload this page, there you go, admin underscore cc and the password hit ok and you can remember the password since it's your own computer so next time if um, you reload they'll just save it and you won't be asked but if I use another browser or if somebody try to open this particular folder they will ask for the password and they have to know the username and the password itself this admin cc username so that's the second part which we have done this one the next step is number three move the attachments downloads and template c folders we have done that when we installed whmcs so we can skip that part number four is move the crons folder Let's do that one. So the crons folder currently contains domain synchronization file. So this should be moved outside the public accessible folder three to prevent outside users from triggering it. So the entire crons folder has to be moved, should be moved, including these two files. Okay. So let's move that. Then we have to change this path. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to go to my cPanel here. File Manager. I'm going to move the crons folder outside. So I'm going to move file outside the public HTML. So it'll be in the home club code here you see our crons folder so home slash club code slash crons so as instructed we should change that right this path we should change the whole thing so let's go ahead i'm going to go back to my file manager go inside the crons folder and here on the config.php, I'm going to code editor and edit. And here simply I'm going to put in my WHMCS path, the full path of it. So it's going to be home slash club code slash um, public HTML. Since we have moved the WHMCS folder, so we won't be using that. So this is the path 
I'm going to save changes close this now that's safe now we have to change our cron job right please note if you have already created a cron job or one has been created for you you will need to update the path on the cron as well so we have to change the path of the cron let's do that I'm gonna go back to my cPanel I'm gonna search for cron and we are going to edit the path here actually since this is the admin we have to change the admin cron to our new admin path so I'm going to go back to file manager as you can see here I'm going to the public HTML folder this is the new admin folder I'm going to copy that go back to my cPanel so change this to the new admin path and it's good to go I'm going to edit the line so php q home club code public html the new admin path and cron.php so this is the basic main cron job of whmcs we don't do any other stuff there so that's good to go the last part restrict access by ip we don't want to do this but you can if you want to because basically we can access the admin area from different devices right for example from your tablet from your smartphone so your ip address may change from time to time depending on which device you are using so i am not going to implement this part so i think this extra security layer is enough let's go to the next course now